Well, this is interesting. I have not seen much Corrin in this game. Nope. I think I've only seen like one. Like, like Cosmos used Corrin once. I think that's the only. Yeah. One I toyed I've around seen. with her in the first week of. Not first week, the first few months of Ultimate. Uh -huh. And she's still got a lot of really nice stuff. She, her juggling is really good. Her Nair is still a great space control tool. But Up there seems pretty good stuff. Her recovery is still somewhat mediocre, and her lack of speed in both air drift as well as ground speed really, really hurts her. Yeah, I can see that. But she does have slightly more range than a lot of the other Fire Emblem characters, yeah, so she can use to her like advantage. Uh, <laughs> I think that was, that was supposed to be a B reverse, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Spectral not going to contest it. Yeah, I know the up B has a lot less drift in this game than it used to. Yep. Oh, my okay. goodness. That was an edge guard. <laughs> I mean, that's just, I think it might be a carryover from his old Zelda runoff <laughs> neutral B. I yeah, mean, it might be. If it works, it works. Nice counter. Stage counter. He still smart. kept his jump. I thought he burned his jump. Spectre trying to turn around and punish the dash attack, but barely, barely misspaces it. Yeah. He's been hit by that landing hitbox of down air a whole lot, too. Yeah, I know it was a surprisingly good landing option in Smash 4. It still seems to be a pretty good one. Up -beat. Reads it with the up beat. Right. Lemon may be feeling himself a little bit. A little early in the set for that, though, isn't it? <laughs> All right, he nice tries drift. to drift off. Another bear will take it from ledge. Take the stock. Not a bad deficit. 53. Nope. We've seen it make that up really fast. Yeah. We've seen that needs 21. like two of those. Yep. I want to see some kind of. And you can roll probably, right? No? Maybe not. That was. I don't think Spectral knew what to do. Yeah. I wouldn't have rolled personally. Oh my. Off stage. What is that called? The. Uh, what? The pin? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the actual name is. People just call it the pin. <laughs> Alright. The pin it is then. That was kind of odd. It looks like the back air would have hit. He's going for that Dragon Fang a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's working for the most part. So. We're it's jumping the gun a little bit. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Right for the thing. Oh, oh, that, that would have been a stock. drifts it out. Yep. Yeah, that's an unfortunate uh, drop punish for Spectral, but... Tries to parry, drops the shield too early. Oh, man. London spacing has been really good so far. Oh, my no God. Way. That, that kills? Yeah, it's a kill move. Wow. Yo, give it back to Roy. 92, I think? That was probably... Ahead. I mean, he hit him right at the apex of it, too. Yeah. When he was already near the top of last zone. So that's not too outlandish. I just... I think in Smash 4, it sent more sideways than that. It sends... It, yeah, it sends pretty vertically in this okay. game. Well, that's interesting. That's a, actually a pretty good option, then. So what do you think we're going to see from Spectral for a counter pick? Um, I would imagine something like Battlefield... Or maybe I don't know. I would I would go Battlefield, but I know Corin could probably do Corin. The thing, the thing with the problem with Battlefield is that Corin can control so much of the stage with Nair and up air yeah. that it's very little room for Lucina to work with. I think right. she needs platforms, but also needs a, a large room. stage area. Yeah. yeah, I think Town was a good pick. He's gonna counter pick Palatina. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I think this could work out well. But it's going to be a little bit harder to get the first hit, I think. Yep. He's got a little bit better uh, ranged tools and explosive flame and auto reticle. Yes. As well as a ranged counter, which can kind of reflect the uh, Dragon Fang shots. Yeah, that can come in handy. And the uh, invincible back air and dash attack, I think, will help a lot, too. Yep. Already we can see he's just kind of staying back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that's the play. Because, as we said, Corrin, not the fastest character. Nope. He's been sharking a lot with these falling up airs, though. Eventually yeah. he hits one, and he's getting a lot off of it. Yeah, it's definitely doing a lot of work. Yeah, I wonder if that reflex will come into play at all. Maybe. He might be hesitant to use it. Yeah, so far it seems like maybe, but he might also just be saving it. Grab? Yeah, that should be some damage. Wow. That was a smart oh. wait, but he didn't really get the landing punish he wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I would have thought he'd react to the up and just kind of stay grounded and wait for something. But yeah, he's got to start respecting oh. these. He's got to start respecting these falling up airs that Lemon's head throwing as it's covering a lot of ground around him. He's popping special off for big damage. He's yeah. got hit by that like four or five times already. Yeah, he's eating a lot of damage for that. That was not the direction. No. Nice shield. I didn't think he'd really get it out of time. Yeah, just Lemon. trying to get the struggle going. Lemon trying to get some extra credit here. That's going to do a little bit. Yeah, that pin 
jump. Definitely not as safe on shield as it was in Smash 4. Jumps the gun on the, uh, there. Yeah, a little bit too early. But, I don't know, might be getting a little too antsy. I uh, mean, I think just a ledge trapping corn is probably the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think... I think the deficit probably feels worse right now for Spectro than it actually is. Tries to run off Mirror Lemon one step ahead. Still I'm winning, 148. Uh, Back throw? Won't kill, I don't think. Not, from center Not stage. quite, but it still gets him off stage and causes him to burn his air dodge. Yeah. But the... I, I think, that, I think if, that was, if that was Tilt Explosive to Flame, that would have killed him. Uh, if you position it a little closer to stage, you mean? Yeah, you yeah. know the smash input and the tilt input? Right, That yeah. was a smash input. Um, oh yeah, you got the stock. Oh man, that tipper looks a lot more powerful than it actually seems to be. Yep. I'm barely able to get out of that. Just commentating games. Lemon is making really good use of Uppy. Yeah, yeah, he really is. It's definitely, definitely seems to be throwing Spectral for a loop. Yep. I think it'd throw me for a loop too. I wouldn't be expecting people to just throw that out so liberally. Yeah, there it is again. But can I get a punish off that? It's uh, a little bit of damage. It's a jab. Yeah, that's good. On the oh, Tries to run off and then go for it. Dragon Fang jump. Shock and a force to jump, but Lemon's not going to be able to recover in time. Oh, nice drop down. Yeah, that's an option now. That was not an option in Smash 4. Yeah, I have not seen any reflex yet. Yeah, no. Oh. I'm, I'm wondering if Spectro has just forgotten about the possibility. And up here we'll do it. Warren's up here is just so good at everything it does. Yeah, it's an amazing move. You're gonna try to... Oh, oh I no, don't like that... the idea. Yeah, that's a shot. <laughs> Went too low with that. I like the idea, but the execution was just a little bit off. If he had gotten yeah. back, that would have been big, because Lemon would have just blown his lead. Yep. Yeah, that hurts to 